Sanders case, I was involved with the Kevin Brown case, and I recently was involved with the Byron Carter case, yeah. in which we proudly took that to federal court and tried that case. Did not get the result that we wanted, but I was deeply honored to represent my clients in that case. And I just want to discuss three major issues in regards to what's going on here. And the first one is the incident itself. My law firm has conducted our own investigation into the incident. I want to wait to see what the police department public is going to, publicly is going to say about it, so I don't want to get into a lot of the facts here. But I want to do, I do want to point out this. In all of the other police shootings we have heard about, the ones that have made the news, Nathaniel Sanders, Daniel Rocha, Byron Carter, what do we always hear from the police officer and the police department immediately? They say we are in imminent fear of our lives, and that's why we shot. Okay? And here, ladies and gentlemen, is what makes this case so disturbing. We're not hearing that. We're not hearing that at all. We are hearing that this was a quote, unquote, accidental discharge. Okay? And I would like, and I know my clients would like, someone to explain how you accidentally discharge a gun in the back of someone's head. But I will submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, and I do not say this lightly, forget discussing justified shooting, forget discussing civil liability, this was a criminal act. And until we start talking about this case in terms of it being a criminal act, I think we will continue to see incidents like this. So, Chief Acevedo has a big decision to make. We will see what he does. It is his call on the disciplinary. Obviously, we feel this officer should be terminated. My bigger concern right now, though, is with the district attorney's office. Okay? We always hear that the grand jury has heard the evidence. Okay? The question is, how is the evidence presented to the grand jury? And I know we have some district attorneys here. We have Gary Cobb here. I will tell you, Gary Cobb is hands down the best district attorney in this office, one of the best in the state. But 